Plastic is one of the most versatile materials in the world. Its use has been widely adopted for everyday use. There are a vast number of applications for plastics. Everything from toys to food containers to car parts, there's undeniably many use cases for plastic. The problem with this is that the plastics produced today are synthetic, derived from petrochemicals, commonly petroleum. This is a finite raw material which industries are extracting at alarming rates. Producing this at mass scale creates both health risks to all living creatures, as well as irreversible damage and pollution for Earth. But that is the reality we are living in. As of 2018, 335 million tons of plastics are produced globally each year, and 45% of all plastics are produced in the United States. 29% of plastics produced in the U.S. are used for packaging. The packaging market in the United States alone is worth $100 billion, a quarter of the global market. This huge market creates powerful players who will influence the game to their favor. One shocking stat found that in the Los Angeles area alone, 10 metric tons of plastic fragments like grocery bags, straws, and soda bottles are carried into the Pacific Ocean every day. In addition to how this impacts marine life, another study found that nearly 1 million seabirds and 100,000 marine mammals are killed annually from plastic in our oceans. Billions of pounds of plastic can be found in swirling convergences in the oceans, making up about 40% of the world's ocean surfaces. 80% of pollution enters the ocean from the land. This inevitably spreads to other living creatures being contaminated, including humans. Plastic chemicals can be absorbed by the body. One study found that 93% of Americans age 6 or older test positive for BPA, which is a plastic chemical. It takes roughly... 500 to 1,000 years for the plastics we produce today to degrade. This will have horrifying consequences, consequences that we are starting to see emerge throughout the world. Matter of fact, there is a garbage patch in the Pacific Ocean twice the size of Texas. One can only guess how much of that is plastic. Of the 8.3 billion metric tons that has been produced, 6.3 billion metric tons has become plastic waste. Of that, only 9% has been recycled. The vast majority, 79%, is accumulating in landfills or sloughing off in the natural environment as litter. What the U.S. did was ship 4,000 recyclable containers to China each day up until last year when China imposed a ban on imports of plastic. They have imported about 45% of the world's plastic waste since 1992 for recycling. And it wasn't just the U.S. Some 70% of the world's plastic waste went to China, about 7 million tons a year. They had enough. Our solution is hemp plastic. Why hemp plastic? Hemp plastic is an affordable bio-based natural fiber composite to replace oil-based raw materials. The basic building block of plastics is cellulose taken from petroleum, but toxic Petrochemical compositions are not the only way to derive plastics. Plastics can be derived from plant cellulose. And since hemp is the greatest cellulose producer on earth, with hemp herds reaching 85% cellulose, it only makes sense to make non-toxic, biodegradable plastic from hemp and other organics instead of letting our dumps fill with waste. Hemp herds can also be processed into cellophane packing material, which was common until the 1930s. Or they may be manufactured into a low-cost, compostable replacement for styrofoam. Hemp plastic is biodegradable and recyclable. If you thought being eco-friendly undermined its sturdiness, you couldn't be more wrong. The stiffness level of hemp plastic does match up to regular plastic. Hemp plastic offers good thermal, UV, and dimensional stability. One of the most outstanding features of a few varieties of hemp plastics is that they are flame resistant. Hemp fiber is one of the strongest natural fibers known to us. Hemp can hold almost twice the weight of steel before it cracks and breaks. And hemp can bend and mend almost six times better than steel. If Henry Ford imagined creating a car with this material, it doesn't seem too far-fetched of an idea, especially just looking at the advantages. Henry Ford made a car built almost entirely from hemp and can run on clean burning hemp fuel. 
the car being 30% lighter than steel cars therefore required less fuel. Its lightweight bioplastic body panels were made many times stronger than steel, and it could not be dented with a sledgehammer. Henry Ford once said, Why would we use up the forests, which were centuries in the making, and the mines which required ages to lay down, if we can get the equivalent of forest and mineral products in the annual growth of the hemp fields? For nearly 3,000 years, hemp has been our planet's largest agricultural crop and the most important industry producing the fiber, paper, clothing, lighting fuel, and medicine used by much of humanity. It is and has always been Earth's most sustainable natural resource. With modern technological advances, it is now possible to make over 20,000 types of products from medicine to houses to cellophane, dynamite, and most importantly, as an eco-friendly alternative to traditional plastics.